Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. This story is written for intermediate English learners. You can download the PDF transcript of this and other stories on our new Patreon page. Ready? Let's get started. B1, B2, English Story Bonfire Night The leaves are changing colours on the trees. They were luscious and green, and now they're changing slowly to beautiful shades of rust, orange and red. It is getting colder, and the days are getting shorter. I love autumn, but I don't like the shorter days. I feel like I'm missing out, and I hibernate away. In the UK, it's a busy time of the year because we celebrate Halloween and Bonfire Night. Halloween is on October 31st, and Bonfire Night is a few days later and takes place on November the 5th. On Halloween, People dress up and have parties, and if the weather is okay, children go trick or treating. They dress up and knock on people's doors and say, Trick or treat, penny or sweet. Halloween isn't as popular in the UK as it is in America, but it is getting more popular. In comparison, Bonfire Night is a big celebration. On the 5th of November, we celebrate something that could be seen as being a little strange. The celebrations mark the attempted assassination of the king in 1605 and the infamous Gunpowder Plot. Guy Fawkes who was born in York, and his gang of friends were Catholics, and they wanted Protestant England to become Catholic again. They thought that if they killed the king, then maybe it could happen. Guy Fawkes put 36 barrels of gunpowder in the cellars underneath Parliament. He wanted to create a huge explosion and then escape to Europe. Someone sent an anonymous letter to Lord Monteagle warning him and anyone else to stay away from Parliament on November the 5th. Guy Fawkes was caught on November the 5th in the cellar where he was waiting to light the gunpowder. He was tortured until he gave the names of the people who had helped him in his plan. They were then captured and hung, drawn and quartered. Before this could happen to Guy Fawkes, he jumped to his death and broke his neck. However, his body was still quartered and then various parts of his remains were sent around the UK as a warning. Since that night, bonfires have been lit on November the 5th. At the top of many bonfires, you will see stuffed guys, which symbolise Guy Fawkes. The guys are an effigy of Guy Fawkes. An effigy is a model or a sculpture of a person. Guys are usually made out of old clothes stuffed with newspapers. Often they'll have a Halloween mask for a face. When people find out about the tradition, they often wonder why we celebrate it. But it's just something that has been there for hundreds of years. Even though this might seem like a morbid thing, Bonfire Night is usually an incredibly fun night. People have parties, let off fireworks and eat lots of lovely food. 
There is a special feeling in the air. There is also an old poem that people say. It goes like this. Remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason and plot. I see no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. There are other verses that go after this, but most people just say this opening verse. It was written by John Milton in 1626. This year, I plan to celebrate Bonfire Night by having a small garden party with my family and friends. I have a medium-sized garden and, at the bottom, I have been collecting rubbish and twigs to make a small bonfire. I will put chairs around the bonfire so we can toast marshmallows and tell stories. If it rains, I have a small gazebo we can sit underneath. It's always nice to be outside because you can hear the neighbours' fireworks and hear everyone chatting and laughing. It's a very social evening. I will make some toffee apples, parkin, hot dogs and beef burgers. For my vegetarian friends, I have prepared some special burgers. I'll set the fireworks off at about 8pm. I have bought special fireworks that aren't too noisy, so hopefully they won't scare the neighbours' pets. Pets can get very scared at this time of the year. I feel sorry for them. I also have some sparklers for the children and, <laughs> let's be honest, for the adults too. Everyone loves sparklers. We usually have competitions to see who can write the longest word or make the prettiest pattern with their sparkler. The morning after bonfire night always feels special. Sometimes you'll still hear the distant bangs of celebrations and the air is filled with smoke. After bonfire night, people start preparing for Christmas. It's like a magic switch goes on and suddenly all the Halloween and bonfire night foods and decorations are replaced with Christmas trees, mince pies and mulled wine. By the end of November, town and city centres are full of Christmas markets and fairground rides. People are in the run up to the festive season and Bonfire Night and Halloween seem like a long time ago. I always miss it though. I try to savour that week between All Hallows Eve and Bonfire Night. For me, there's always a special sparkle in the air that I just can't explain. I look forward to it every year. What is your favourite festival or your favourite time of the year? Tell us in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you soon.